It seems this is the entrance. Green Lake campsite. We are now at the uh, Green Lake. Michael, a self-explanatory fool. He leads the life of a clown in front of his popular peers, like a companion animal to them. He has turned himself into one of those chattering, gong-holding monkeys, clowning around with a head filled with junk food, alcohol, and psychedelic potions. Uh, Green Lake Campsite. I hope we can find a clean and vast lake here to swim, with or without a swimsuit. Uh, see my muscles? The young ladies will all crazily scream for these puppies. Ho, ho, ho! Ugh. Freddy, an athlete, captain of the school's rugby team, an ostentatious, self-centered, and annoying narcissist. He is in the prime of his life, a period which will be recalled repeatedly and eagerly decades later, like a drunk man obsessively licking the salt off the snacks. Damn, Freddy. For one second in your life, could you please stop thinking about taking your pants off? Jason, the young scholar. He is the teacher's favorite student. Straight A's, clever, reliable, and logical. He pays more respect to girls than most of the idiotic men do. His interest is reading those encyclopedias or looking into some strange science stuff. You can wipe your face with this, Michael. We will get to the camp soon. And the Virgin. There is a non-aggressive, harmless amount of gentleness and beauty in her that you don't get to see much of in this crazy time. She was born and raised in a faithful Christian family, along with other sisters. She attends the reading session held in her community every weekend. Ugh, lower your voices. Enough shouting. Oh, oh, I'm still hungover, so don't mess with me and everybody will stay happy. Understand? Blonnie. Reckless and dumb. A typical blondie. Always indulging herself in alcohol, beautiful clothes, and other vain pleasures. She was luckily born into a wealthy family and raised by doting parents. People call her sweetheart or honey, nothing else. Now we are going to bonfire camping area, right? Where's our guide? Just to be clear, Uncle Eli lent us the place, but he did also mention it's a bit neglected, so you know what to expect. When we get there, clean up the house and leave the best bedroom to me. You can choose from the rest. Michael will be glad to help you, sweetie. Take Anne with you. A girl would know to attend to details. One day, she will pay for her doings. One day. They were all dead. Their heads were hung at the treetop. It wasn't until a week later were they found by other campers. Murderer? No, there was no murderer. At least nobody has ever seen one. Some said it was done by a person who has long lost his humanity, that he was possessed by some demonic spirits and therefore... Immortal. Michael, you fool! Stop telling such a dumb story. Come maintain the bonfire, idiot. Oh, but I haven't finished the store. No, uh, I mean, all right, on my way. Hey, do you guys 
smell anything? Something quite gross, like, uh, uh, putrid? Oh, fuck! Holy <laughs> oh, 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 gosh, I just saw it! It's viscera? Jeez, F you! Don't throw up on me, Michael, you damn jerk! Oh. Step back. This is a badger. Judging from the degree of putrefaction, it has died at least a week ago. Blonnie, did your uncle mention any beasts living in the woods? Blonnie? Blon- Oh my goodness. They sneaked away again. In this very moment. Well, I think so. She left with Freddy when Michael started puking. Naughty, stop that. <laughs> yeah, I can push this further. You see, I will.